Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. Living a sustainable and simple life is really a lot about prep work. There is always something in our house that we're soaking or cooking or putting together so that we can reduce waste, we can eat produce where we know exactly what's going into the ingredients. And it can be a real joy. It's not seen as a chore. And you really, the more you do it, the more you can work it into your everyday life. One of the staples is stock. Now we know stock that you buy in the shop comes with a lot of packaging. And also there's ingredients in there that you may not want in your stock. So there's so much food waste when we're chopping up vegetables. Now I know you can eat the broccoli stalk, so for this I just wanted to show you how I make it and it's really simple. And what I love about, you know, your food scraps is that you can collect loads and keep them in your freezer until the time that you've got a full jar and then you just make the stalk, filling it up with water and letting it simmer for under an hour. And what I love about prep work is you can get up early, you can leave things on the stove while you're doing something else. So a lot of it is about just thinking ahead and thinking what you need. And when we started living more sustainably, we noticed that different products that you would use as spreads on bread, it comes with a lot of waste. So for me, my two favorites are hummus and pesto. I'd love to know what you like as a spread on your bread. And with living sustainably, it's far more cost effective as well. And then while things are simmering on the stove, you can make things like your oat milk. Now I've recipes for these, I'll leave them down below. In Ireland, oats are readily available, so it's a really sustainable option. And it really doesn't take anything more than five minutes to make. Because in Ireland, all the milks are mostly packaged in Tetra Packs. Whereas I can get the oats with no packaging. So I find it extremely empowering to be able to really make your own food. And you're always thinking up of ways of how you can use something you have in another way. And as always, not everybody has the luxury of having compost in their garden. If you're lucky, you can have those bins where they will actually take your food scraps and make it into compost. So with something like stock, I'll put some in the fridge so I can use it that week and then I'll put more in the freezer. And then as I start to get more scraps from when I'm cooking the food, then I'll start stocking up again for the next time. And what I also love about making your own food, like say something like hummus, it's packed full of protein. So you're getting nutrition in ways that you're, you never really would know of. Whereas a lot of the times with these spreads, there's not really much nutritional content. And then with things like aquafaba, which is the chickpea water left over after they've been cooked, you can use that in other ways. So you start to get more creative and you can have a lot of fun. I've got recipes for the hummus I'll leave down below as well. It's definitely my go-to. Now 
Not a week goes by in our household where I'm not making some type of bread and it always depends on just what ingredients I have. So for this bread I'm going to be using up the aquafaba and also some of the oat milk. And buckwheat is a great flour which you can use with gluten-free oats if you are celiac. And I'll leave this recipe also below. But what I love about very simple bread that doesn't use yeast is that you can kind of mix and match what you want to put into it. So I'd love to know down below what are the preps that you really enjoy making in your home. Because I find that it's such a luxury to be able to really feed yourself well. We think now in the Western world that we're so lucky to have everything just there on a shelf, yet we're going far away from real true ingredients that nourish our body and our mind. So thanks very much for watching this video. Thanks for coming along with me. And I'll chat you as always below or over on Instagram. Do my best to get back to everybody. And if I don't know that I read everything. So thank you very much and have a wonderful week. Keep it simple and I'll see you in the next video.